welcome to the Willy Brandt Center in Abu Tor. We are located here with this beautiful view on the old city of uh, Jerusalem. We are a center for encounters and communication where young people from Palestine, Israel and all over the world meet, discuss, work for a better future for both societies. This year's annual Jerusalem Open Forum will be under the topic of Jerusalem and Europe. Together with Holy Local Aliens, we will design a participatory city tour, Jerusalem, Europe and me. We ask you to suggest locations and places in Jerusalem that you connect with Europe. It can be historical sites connected to the past of uh, European influence in Jerusalem. It can be a bar or a restaurant that reminds you of a trip to Europe or it can be something very personal, apartment of a family member who moved from, Jeruz from Europe to Jerusalem. We ask you to suggest your locations so we can design a unique tour where we will not only have one guide but many guides who will share their stories about Jerusalem, Europe and me. Hi, my name is Abdur Rauf. I live in Jerusalem here. I lived in Germany for one year and that was really one of the best years, one of the best experiences I've ever had. And that's why when I came back here, I realized that it was really quick, it was really, really short. So one year was not enough and I really fell in love with Germany and Europe as a whole. That's why whenever I want to remind you, when I want to remember something about Europe, when I want to do something that has to do with Europe, then I visit places that are more European structured, like the one we're in here. We're in the German colony in Jerusalem and coming here, the place kind of evokes emotions and arouses passion about Germany, the place that I fell in love with. My name is Florence. I'm a Belgian artist living in Jerusalem for one year and a half. And today I'd like to introduce you to a place called the uh, Austrian Hospice in the old city of Jerusalem. As you may know, the European churches uh, own some uh, places and buildings in the holy city. And I think this place uh, actually belongs to the Church of Austria. I first read about it in a French graphic novel, The Chronicles of Jerusalem. Uh, by Guy de Lille, that I read before coming here while I was still in Belgium. And that guy uh, is married to um, a woman who works for Doctors Without Borders. And she's been on a mission in Jerusalem, so um, while she was working, he wrote um, sketched chronicles about his life here. And at some point, he falls on this place. And that's how I heard about it. So we are here right in front of the uh, windmill of Jerusalem, which was built by Moshe Montefiore in 1857. Uh, Moshe Montefiore was a little bit like the Bill Gates of the time. He was trying to help uh, Jewish communities in Israel and thought that they needed a place where they could uh, mill their floor uh, without having to, uh, to go outside. And that mill still works because it's been renovated in 2012 and it works exactly as it did originally, although it doesn't mill floor anymore, it only actually is visited by tourists. Hi, hello, my name is Mohammed. I live in Jerusalem. I actually never been before in Europe. For me, when I see these uh, fancy restaurants, coffee shops, railways, I hope one day I will visit Europe and I will see it for real this time. And see you there. 